These are some of Dyson's top cordless vacuum cleaners, but which one is right for you? Well, I'm going to look at the differences between the Dyson V12 Detect Slim Absolute Plus, probably the longest name of any vacuum cleaner out there, the Dyson V15 Detect Absolute, and the newer Dyson Gen 5 Detect. But before that, please subscribe to the channel. The support you give by subscribing below allows me to keep making videos that help you, and it's very much appreciated. Now, if you missed my earlier reviews about the Dyson V12 and V15, I've added links to them in the description below, where I go into even greater detail about what each one has to offer. Aesthetically, all three vacuum cleaners look similar, with the V12 being the lightest and smallest of the three. Each of these models also comes with two cleaner heads, a motor bar cleaner head for deep cleaning your carpets and a soft roller cleaning head with the famous green laser beam for hard floors. Now there's little difference between these soft cleaner heads, but the laser in the newer Gen 5 Detect has seen an improvement in its reach, meaning it should stretch further compared to the other models. But in my own real world testing, I can't see much, if any, difference between them. If you haven't seen it before, then the aim of the laser beam is to highlight microscopic dust and dirt particles that ordinarily you might not see. And it does do this, although in reality you'll probably be moving the roller head too fast to make it that useful and none of them are particularly good in bright sunlight. The motor bar cleaner head can be used on almost any floor type, but it's particularly good on carpets and rugs, and has built-in anti-tangle technology, which works pretty well, as I've had no tangle issues with any of them. The Gem 5 Detect and V15 has a plus middle and minus button on the front of their motor heads, allowing you to further increase or decrease the cleaner suction. All three models come with attachments. The Dyson V12 Detect Slim Absolute Plus has eight attachments. The Dyson V15 Detect Absolute has seven attachments, and the newer Gen 5 Detect has six attachments, one of which is a new built-in dusting and crevice tool, which neither the V12 nor V15 have. This built-in tool means you no longer need it as a separate attachment, making it surprisingly easy to use, and therefore useful. That said, the V12 and V15 still have a dusting and crevice tool, but they're not built in, meaning you'll have to attach them to the wand. Now in my review for the V15, one of the complaints I had was about its power trigger, which needs to be continually pressed while it's working. It's not terrible, but after using it for a while, even my finger begins to feel uncomfortable. Pleasingly though, Dyson removed this problem in the V12 by replacing it with a much more practical power button. And the Gen 5 Detect follows suit, but with a slightly more refined and practical power button on the top. All three vacuum cleaners come with an LCD display on the top showing you in real time what they're picking up, and it's fascinating to see. But as I've mentioned in my previous reviews, the novelty soon wears off, and aside from the occasional glance, I pay little to no attention to them now. If you're interested to see how well each vacuum cleaner works, I've taken the following footage.
So where does that leave us? Well, which vacuum cleaner is right for you comes down to practicality, the size of your home, how often you vacuum, and what you see as an acceptable price to pay for a vacuum cleaner. At £560, the V12 is the cheapest of the three vacuum cleaners, and the lightest, weighing 2.4 kilograms. It has the smallest bin with a capacity of 0.35 litres, and it's the least powerful of the three, providing 150 air watts of power. It also has a battery life of around 60 minutes. The V15 costs £700, and it's heavier than the V12, weighing just over 3 kilograms. It has a larger bin with a capacity of 0.77 litres, and it's more powerful, providing 230 air watts of power, with the same battery life of 60 minutes too. The newer Gen 5 Detect costs an eye-watering £850. It's also the heaviest of the vacuum cleaners, weighing 3.5 kilograms. It's been as the same size as the V15, and it provides an incredible 262 air watts of power, with a battery life that's been increased to 70 minutes. This means the V12 is the easiest to pick up and use on a regular basis, although you will need to empty its bin more often compared to the other two and the inclusion of a power button makes it comfortable to use over longer periods. The V15 is more powerful than the V12 and holds more dirt in its bin, but its additional weight combined with the need to keep the power trigger pressed all the time makes it more uncomfortable to use over long periods. The Gen 5 Detect is the most powerful of the three vacuum cleaners, making cleaning your home that much quicker, but weighing in at just over one kilogram more than the V12, it's not the easiest to pick up and use although the inclusion of a power button is a welcome sight. So which should you get? Well, as the old saying goes, pay your money, take your choice, as which one is right for you will depend on your own circumstances. If money is no object and you're not worried about the additional weight, then the Gen 5 Detect is the clear winner here, as its power alone makes vacuum cleaning that much quicker. The V15 also offers incredible power, but for a cheaper price. But for me, the V12 is a winner. Not only is it cheaper than the other two, but it's also extremely easy to pick up and use whenever I need to. And although it doesn't have the same power as the other two, it does a great job cleaning the home. And that's it, the Dyson V12, V15, and Gem 5 Detect. Thank you for watching, and please support the channel by subscribing below and hit that like button. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.